shoes! New shoes! Hey, my friends! Consistency used to be my strong suit, and then I had a child, and it just it just went away. I would have had a video last week, but then something else took over, and that had to be focused on. And I'll have more exciting news here soon. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss it. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with Rex. Ah, I can't wait! But this video isn't about that. It's about the past week of my life. It's a vlog from my life, starting with Sunday. We made Rex a house. It's his first one. Not a very big mortgage. He'll have it paid off with a weekly allowance in a month. It's got a skylight on the top. It's got two double French doors. Now he's doing an outside tour of the house. It passed inspection. Okay, he's coming. You, get you want me to get his house? Rex, I'm not gonna fit in there. Rex, I'm not, I'm too big. If you notice the red marks on my arm, I keep burning myself with my curling iron. Even with a glove, I'm dangerous. <laughs> he made me get in his house. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's as much as I fit in your house, honey. Mommy's huge. Later that night, my son is Superman. Look at that cape. He's got a cape. He put that on himself, and anytime it falls, <laughs> falls off, he puts it back on. Rex, you lost your cape. Superman needs his cape in his house. You gotta put your cape on. Really? Yeah. We don't know what he watched or what he saw, but now he wants a cape. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Put, put it back on. on. Gotta put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, we headed to Prescott, Arizona. We're at the arcade. Come on, child. He's frozen in excitement. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but my child is lucky. Literally, wherever we go, he finds something, or people want to give him something, or he just has natural born luck. <laughs> what did he do? We didn't put any money into this, and we came over, and he must have pressed it. How many tickets did we win? <gasps> Someone had a bonus ball on that one machine and they hadn't pressed the button yet. Oh. So Rex pressed it and dropped in it and he won 500 tickets. Yeah, we're standing <laughs> on the <laughs> Then we went to grab some lunch and a store employee asked if we wanted to have the balloons that Rex was playing with. I'm telling you, my kid has baby charisma. Lucky baby. My mom is always on the hunt for more things to sell. She found these old folk art beanbag toss things from a carnival. They're scary cute. I feel like my mom needs to start an Instagram or something with all the things she finds because she has incredible taste and she makes a killing selling. <laughs> Mr. Ticklish, Mr. Ticklish. Every day there should be a rainbow. Everyone's slowing down because they want to look at the rainbow. Now there's a double rainbow. See, double rainbow. I wish you guys were in the car right now so you could see what we are seeing, but it's definitely an impressive rainbow. Tuesday was a Talaka Pocky day and you're like, Talaka what? Just wait and watch and learn. It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. And 
Wednesday, we went to Williams, Arizona to the Grand Canyon Deer Farm. Montage, <laughs> take it away. Seriously? I'm not sucker! <laughs> and what else happened? And it wasn't even... <laughs> oh, and it, it, the dog's bark? <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> woof, woof, woof. <laughs> what else does he say? We're gonna go, because we're pretty close to Williams from here, so we're gonna go walk around Williams a little bit, and then we have to go back home to feed the horses and just life responsibilities, so we just snuck away for part of the day. Still fun though. This town is so cute. Everything keeps reminding us we're on Route 66. <laughs> Looked at some shops, didn't buy anything, found a fish tank and some fish. Come on, wild creature. Like Come on, yeah. yeah, there we go. Knees high, yeah, yeah, I see it, knees high. He's been doing this like high knees, like walking dance thing lately, and he slaps his legs to try to get his knees to go higher. I'll be found live music. Yeah. It's actually like it. We found Elvis. There was a sign in one of the stores that says, I speak French fries. <laughs> Almost bought it. I speak French fries. Peace out, Williams. That was my week. Random announcements. I am reading and recording a sucky love story for Audible here soon. So I have been practicing. There will also be the ebook version of my book available for pre-order in the near future. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting my dreams. My love for you is as big and random and sparkly as the hoops in my ears. And I don't know why I chose that statement to end this video, but I did and now I'm rambling. So bye.